Welcome everyone to Xenogears! It is the uh, uh, anniversary of the release in the United States of Xenogears, so I figured I would start a uh, Let's Play of, that, of this game. It is quite possibly my favorite game of all time. And, uh, oh, I love this intro. This is definitely one of the many things that makes this game my favorite. Awesome intro. With fantastic music. This game, I think, has the best music of any game I've ever played. Yasunori Mitsuda is by far my favorite composer. And he did a fantastic job with this as well. So I've already uploaded the uh, intro. You might see some little some differences in how I recorded it because I was playing with the settings a bit after recording, after I did my voiceless recording. So, uh, um, I will be talking over this. Uh, you actually do get a uh, um, brief description of this introduction in the manual. Um, it mentions the name of the ship as the Eldridge. That's a pretty damn big ship, too. Ah, it's always fun when there's an emergency. Omega One restarting. And yes, this is pretty much the best lip sync you're gonna get in the minimalistic dub of this game, <laughs> which isn't saying much. Alpha One to raise your central. Access confirmed. Initializing fake net. Disconnected. Activating emergency shelter. Sometimes I just end up watching this introduction for the hell of it. Roger. I don't know, I just... <laughs> it's such a good introduction. Confirming. No good, nothing happened. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, you might want to make the bolts larger next time. We can't stop them. 98% of our weapons have been taken over. The autopilot system Faust has been accessed. Have you noticed how ship captains and in anime always look the same? Ergo area is increasing. It's just me. An internal plane is forming. Switching to space displacement mode. Alpha 1, confirming transfer of coordinate codes. Coordinates input, coordinate NX128, EZ061, the main planet. Damn, so they're planning on attacking. Engine room, activate the emergency ceiling system. Engine wow, that's, uh, <laughs> uh, that's a bad sign there. Good captain knows when everything is gone to hell in a handbasket, that's for sure. Although I suppose the words, ye shall be as gods, coming up on the screen is, uh, actually it's you shall be as gods, is also a bad sign. I am evacuating the ship. All of you, evacuate now. Hey, hey, walk! Walk, please! Well, at least, oh. Oh, that's not good. Well, I guess the civilians aren't escaping. Well, sucks to be them. Well, that's pretty ominous. What's the worst that could happen? Oh. That. Well, at least they blew up over a conveniently placed planet. With rings. Ah, lovely wreckage. Hey, a survivor! We have a new Guinness World Record for, uh... Farthest Fall. Unaided. And hello, survivor! That is some long hair. I 
noticed a little skipping in this video that I didn't seem to get when I uh, did the straight recording without my audio. Probably because I changed the settings around, which is kind of crappy, but... Oh well. Getting this game to be properly emulated, uh... Not easy. Not easy. Ah, oh, I love this song. The continent of Ignis, in the northern hemisphere of our world, on this the largest continent, a war has been raging between two countries for hundreds of years. In the north of the continent lies the Kislev Empire. In the south lies the desert kingdom of Ave. The war has gone on for so long that the people have forgotten the cause, knowing only the pointless circle of hostility and tragedy. Ah, always a good backstory. Endless war! The chronic war obsession was soon the to encounter a devastating change. This was due to the Ethos, an institution that preserves our world's culture, repairing tools and weapons excavated from the ruins of an ancient civilization. At once, both countries excavated these ruins and had the Ethos repair the discoveries in order to increase their military power. Ethos? Ah, oh, what's the worst that could be happen with a organization named that? Also, what's a JRPG without an ancient, highly advanced technology uh, civilization? <laughs> the various weapons excavated from the ruins greatly changed the form of warfare. The outcome of the battles between the two countries was no longer determined by man-to-man -man combat, but by gears, giant humanoid fighting machines, that were obtained from deep within the ruins. Eventually, after continuous swings in the state of war, Kislev gains the, gained the upper hand. The major factor behind this lay in the enormous difference in the amount of resources buried within their ruins. But suddenly, a mysterious military force call, appeared in the continent of Ignis, called Gebler. This force decided to make contact with Ava. Ave. I'm gonna do that throughout this game. Stupid Ava. With the assistance of this Gebler military force, Ave was able to recover from being hopelessly outnumbered to being back to on an even standing with Kislev. Then, taking further advantage of its newly gained momentum, Ave started to capture one territory after another from Kislev, showing no indication of slowing down in their, inv in their invasion campaign. The remote village of Lahan, in the outskirts of Ave, near the border with Kislev. Explosions! This is where it all begins. Uh, you guys might want to run a run th out of the town. Might be a good idea. Just saying. You got giant robots attacking in the village. Might want to leave. Might want to leave. That's annoying, that little glitch there. I'm, I'm hoping that I don't get it throughout the game, but I think I might. Might end up playing with the uh, settings a bit more as I go through the game, but we'll see. <sighs> Damn you! Yeah! Ah, it's always good to punch a robot and knock it down. That's one down. What on earth are you? No matter how often I knock you down, you still get up. Faye, stop! You must not fight here! Boy, are you persistent. Woohoo! Kicking a robot in the face. Damn it! How come? Why did it have to come to this? Yay, throwing us into the middle of it.
Well, that's different. Mm, pixelated heroes. Phew, that, that about does it. Alright, now for a short break. Alright, so, here we are. Pull up our menu. We are Faye, we are level one. Take a look at our status. That's our status. Not much to it. And, uh, I'll go over menus later as we get more stuff. Um, you know, more equipment and everything like that. Alright. Um, we've got, uh... In most areas, we'll be able to rotate the screen uh, at least 90 degrees. Sometimes a full... Uh, 360, sometimes only 180, sometimes we won't be able to rotate it at all. But we can take a look at our uh, paintings. How nice. We zooming in. Let's look at look, let's look at this one on the wall. Okay, not much to them. And that's the wrong button. I will do that all the time. So we can jump. We can even jump on top of some things. Like this bed. Yay. And we can run. Took your hidden money. Received 200 gold. Gee, whatever. Rest in your bed? Nah, it's okay. Let's go down here and see anything here. Received Aquasol. Received Aquasol. Those are your basic healing items. They heal, uh, like, 50 hit points. Whoa! Received a spider web. Woohoo! I can't remember what that actually does. Hello, Faye. You're looking well today. My, how time flies. Why, has it already been three years since you came to our village? When they first saw you... When they first saw you brought in all bloody and soaking, to tell the truth, they didn't think you were going to make it. Get used to this text speed. I can't speed it up. That strange masked man who carried you here that day. Do you think that maybe he was your real father? Don't you remember anything? Why, they say you had terrible nightmares and constantly called out for your father. Flashback! It was a dark and stormy night. Who is it? Wh who are you? What? You want me to look after this boy? Apparently the guy who dropped us off didn't have much to say. But now you're so healthy and strong. And it's all thanks to our village chief, Lee. My, you should, my, should you be grateful? I am grateful. You don't need to tell me that I should be grateful. Let's see, any more items? Any more items? Alright, let's talk to this person here. You know, Faye, that I am sure that our village chief thinks of you as his own grandson. Not having any family for all those years and living on his own for oh so long. That's why he cares so very dearly about you. Please never do anything that would break his poor old heart. You promised me that, Faye. Oh, what do, you, what do you think I am? I would never do anything like that, of course. And I keep hitting... I'm gonna, I am gonna eat, keep hitting that butt. I, I can pretty much guarantee you that. I wonder if I can take a look at this painting over here. I wonder if this is one of my paintings. Nope. You can't look at it. Aw, oh, shucks. Oh, it's you, Faye. We're in the middle of discussing Timothy and Alice's wedding arrangements. Hey, why don't you bring a girlfriend or two home once in a while? Just because you live with an old man like me doesn't mean you have to hold back now, you hear? Why, when I was young as you are, it seemed like every day I would... Ahem, <clears throat> Uh, never mind. Now, we still have important things to discuss, so don't get in, our w in the way now. Hello there, Faye. Our Timothy is a really lucky boy to be able to marry such a beautiful girl like Alice. I hope you come up with some embarrassing tales to tell in your speech. Ha ha ha! 
I'm sure I can come up with something. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. Tomorrow, our little Alice is going to become someone's wife. I knew this day would come. This is the worst part of bringing up a little girl. <sighs> you seem almost too attached there, buddy. Yo, hi there, Faye. Sorry for all of us. Sorry for us all using your house like this. But we have to talk about the big day tomorrow with the village chief. Yeah, tomorrow, huh? Your wedding with Alice. Now that is a big day. Yeah, right. But it still hasn't hit me as reality, though. Hey, uh, Timothy, I just want to thank both you and Alice. Three years ago, I woke up in this village without a trace of my memory. I didn't know who I was, where I had been, or what I had been doing up until that day. I couldn't recall a single thing. Despite that, you and Alice sympathized with me and encouraged me to go on. If the two of you hadn't, hadn't been there for me, I don't know what would have come of me. Timothy, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Now, you and Alice had better live happily ever after. Ha! <laughs> Quit it, will you? You don't have to go and get all mushy on me. Anyway, to me it feels like I've always been friends with you ever since we were kids. You get attached to people easily, don't you, Timothy? We will go on being friends forever, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Nothing could ever come up between us that, that destroys our friendship. No, no, of course not. No. Of course. Oh, yeah, Faye, could you stop by and check on Alice? I still have stuff to discuss with my old man and the village chief. But I'm sure she'll be glad to have some company. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Anyway, I'll see you later. Oh, and I... I am really looking forward to the ceremony tomorrow. Oh, hey, I was leaving. So there you are. Hey, I have to talk to you about something. Why, hello there, Dan. You're lively today, as you are every day. Dan, don't be so rude. What's this barging in and all? Ah, Timothy's here too. Put out, Timothy. Until you marry my sister, you have nothing to do with me at all. I just have some business here with my friend Faye. So anyway, Faye, I, uh, I have something to talk to you about later. What is it, Dan? It sounds serious. Yeah, that's why I can't talk... That's why I can't talk about it here. There's a certain person listening in who, would, who could cause us trouble. Oh, Dan, what are you plotting now? It's really important. We gotta talk, seriously. One-on-one, -on -one, man to man. I'll be hanging around outside, so I'll see you at the... See you there later, okay? Be seeing you, Timothy. Take care of yourself until tomorrow. And he raspberries him. I think. Huh? What's up with him? As of tomorrow, I'm gonna be that kid's brother-in-law. <laughs> that part isn't gonna be no honeymoon. Yep, I can imagine. Alright, so here we are outside in the village of Lehan, and we can spin the uh, screen around. As you can see, there's someone up there, and it looks like there are some uh, steps or something back there, so let's, uh, let's run back and see if we can get up and talk to this. Looks like a kid. Hey, kid. Birds are great. They can fly so high in the sky, they can go wherever they want to. You know, Faye, Mom was saying that you might you might have come from a faraway place. If you were a bird, you could fly back to your real home anytime you wanted. Uh, yeah, if, if I knew where that was. Whee! Hmm. Oh, I'm just contemplating what I should plant next. It's a lot of work just trying to raise crops, but it's an excellent feeling, Faye. In this great open land, new life emerges. I'm not saying we're doing it. It's just the earth, rain and sun combining together to nurture these striving new lives. We're just helping them out. Pumpkinberry, apple lily, radish, hmm, they all seem good. Oh yeah, I forgot. Here's some of my homemade Aquasol. I used my special fertilizer in it so it should work real well. Ha ha ha! Ew, I don't want to think about that. Oh, alright, here you go. Sweet. Can I get more out of you? Sorry, that's all the Aquasol I have. But I've got plenty of my special fertilizer. You want some? 
No! God, no! Let me get- get- uh, uh, Run away! Oh! a oh well! What's the worst that could happen? Whee! Oh, crap, I died. Yay, I didn't! Phew, that was a close one. This well is dangerous. Perhaps it's better if I don't go near it again. Well done! You found a weird item! That's the wrong button. Let's take a look at our items. Alright, so we've got four Aqua Salt. It says uh, restores hit points 50. Uh, so you see name, four, uh, ally, single. So that's... Uh, you can only use uh, it on the single ally. Eyeball, one. Should sell for a high price. Spiderweb, one. Tough thread. Um... Occasionally you'll get items like this, and really all they are is just uh, money from monsters that don't give money kind of thing. Uh, and this is an item that I get to use much, 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 much later. Alright, but... Whee! Phew, that was a close one. This well is dangerous. Perhaps it's better if I don't go near it again. Oh, I don't think so. All's well that ends well. You found an Aquasol S. Seems like a good idea. Let's do it again. Phew, that was a close one. This well is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing? Oh, come on, gimme. Give gimme give stuff. I want stuff. I demand stuff, game. Yes, yes, yes. What? Gimme. I know there's something else down here. Give it to me. You will give it to me, game. What? I know I can get something. Alright, let's try it again. Supposed to get it by the fourth jump. Come on. There we go. Well, well, well. You found a power ring. There we go. So it's random. The first time you jump down, you'll always get the eyeball. Um, usually, it's like the second or uh, the, the second or third time you jump down, you'll get the uh, Aquasol S, and then I don't know. Maybe it was. I don't know. Weird. I've only done it, I mean, I've done it before and gotten all the items on the third try, so. Uh, so an Aquasol S um, is just three times stronger than an Aquasol, so that's nice. And let's check out equipment. If I would not hit the wrong button. I'm doing it again. I am, I'm terrible at the controls of this game. I really am. Okay, there we go. So you've got accessories, and you can actually uh, uh, mix and match them pretty widely. Um, you know, armor, hat, other stuff, kind of thing. So I could actually sw swap out the cap for another pa for the power ring. Um, stamina ring will uh, give me uh, plus two attack, and, but it'll remove the uh, defense from the stamina ring. But I kind of like that, so I think I'll go ahead and equip the uh, power ring. Um, I'm not going to go there yet. Let's see. Actually, let's go talk to this woman if I can jump over the fence. There we go. Alice and Timothy's wedding tomorrow is the talk of the town. I guess it's to be expected, though. It is one of life's biggest, uh, biggest events. The women of the village are born, raised, married, and lived live out the rest of their lives here. There must be some happiness in that, but I've been thinking from time to time. Sometimes I wish I were born a man so I could travel the world and live an ever-changing life. Sounds like the women here are oppressed. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Uh, no, of course not. Really? Do you mean it? Ha, I knew you'd say that for me, Faye. 
Here, this is my very own home homemade aquasol. Our bear cows love it. Try it out sometime. Wait, you're giving me something that you feed to bear cows. Received aquasol, the choice of all bear cows. Yep, he does indeed seem to like it back there. But it's mine. Mine, you can't have it, bear cow. You're right. I've got my whole life ahead of me. I've got to strive harder to fulfill my goals in life. Okay, let's go talk to this old guy here. Hi, old guy. Huh? Huh? Oh, it's you, Faye. What do you want? Finally, at my age, I've become able to live in peace. At this rate, I'll probably live to be a hundred. <laughs> yeah, except you'll sleep through it all. Uh, he's gonna say the same thing, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah, apparently. No, oh, no, don't waste perfectly good food like that. Hey, I thought I told you not to step on my food. <laughs> hey, stop pushing. What are you, some kind of pervert? Hello, Faye. Tomorrow is Alice and Timothy's big day. Isn't it exciting? I know Alice will make a lovely bride. Uh, I hope some. I hope a handsome prince comes into my life soon. Don't look at me. Welcome to the village of La... Oh, it's you, Faye. Oh, don't worry. You are... We already consider you a proud member of the Lahan community. So how about finding a wife and settling down in our village, too? I'm sure if you live a peaceful life here, your memory will be bound to come back one day. Somehow I doubt it. I have a natural ability to paint and can do martial arts rather well, I hear. I bet it's because your body remembers these things. You'll be able to breathe a sigh of relief when your memory returns to you. Don't you worry, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will, too. Let's see, where do we want to go next? I suppose we want to go into one of these buildings. I'm going to make an extended episode for the first one. Uh, try to get a lot done in this first video. There's a lot to do, um, but it's kind of a slow beginning. Um, I mean, I could skip talking to everyone, getting the items, and just move on with the story, but... Where's the fun in that? This is a village consultant's house. He can teach you all kinds of things. Before you step outside of our village, it might be wise to stop by here for some advice first. Okay. I'll do that. You look kind of familiar, but I'm not going to talk to you just yet. Yes, she, there's a reason she looks familiar. Did you know that you can spin the world around with the L1 and R1 buttons? I'm sure you'll be able to see you, things you weren't able to before. Explore the world by using your own eyes and ears. That is how you make the gains of your, in your life truly your own. If you're lost, then be lost. There is no need to rush, is there? Nor do you have to explore the world using someone else's maps. I I resent that. I am very happy to use someone else's maps. Namely, the people on the internet. Whee! Yes, she does look familiar up there, doesn't she? But, like I said, we will talk to her in a moment. Let's talk to you again. I come here often to talk to village consultants. He usually gives good advice. Although once in a while he can be a little absent-minded. Just recently he mixed up the love potion with the balding potion. <laughs> so as not to bother other clients, please keep all personal conversations down to a minimum. <laughs> yes sir, whatever you say. We'll have to continue this conversation later. Really tell me more. Good day, I'm the village consultant. But to tell you the truth, the village chief knows far more than I do. However, the chief is an awfully busy person, so I have to be so I've been placed in charge of answering some of the more mundane questions. As a servant as a special for this week, we are lecturing on the techniques of martial arts. Uh can I lecture you on the uh techniques of incorrect comma uh, uh, per, uh apostrophe usage? Sucks when the word is on the tip of your tongue and you forget it. <clears throat> Would you like to learn about it? Uh, nothing now, thanks. So yeah, you can talk to this guy to get uh, information on how to play the game. When it comes to fighting techniques, I tend to be extremely fussy. I've started to study up on them recently. How about it then? Want to hear what I have to say? Alright, this guy does the same thing. However... Mm, you're pretty scholarly for a young'un. Good, now listen up. 
That guided shot ability you already have is one of the many mysterious powers related to Aether and Chi. Not everyone has a talent to use such powers. People are each born with differing abil innate abilities. If that individual does have the gift, increasing in level will give birth to more powerful abilities. Sweet, more powerful abilities. Hmm, I see a lot of potential in you. There you go. This is an allowance for being such an enthusiastic scholar. Ha 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 ha! Received 80 G. Yeah, talking to him once, uh, you get 80, 80 gold. So, otherwise, you don't need to talk to him. Buy some pencils and books with that, okay? Stick with it, kid. Yes, sir. All right. Hello, Mrs. Uh, very familiar lady. Oh, good, good. You're lucky. I, you, <clears throat> you're lucky. You came just at the right time about the memory cube, then don't hesitate to ask me. No one knows better than I do. How about it, then? Want to hear me out? Uh, okay. All right, good show. That's the spirit. You're pretty smart for an artist. Hey. Now open up those ears and carve every word I say into that tiny brain of yours. Hey! I'll begin by explaining how to save your adventure. Normally, you can open up the memories menu screen. Okay, you know what? I wonder if I need to actually talk to her about this. I'm not actually going to read this. Ow. Oh, I love that sound. Wow, you, you just made it get big. Holy crap, wall of text. What? You didn't understand? Aw, oh, gee. Well, alright, let me explain it once more. Oh, God, no! Oh god, no, make it stop. Maybe if I had said no, it would have been a better option. Oh well. What did you just... Did you just make it explode? So that's it for my concise summary. You took it all in this time, didn't you? Well, even a two-year-old... Dongarian monkey could understand my fantastic explanation 120%, right? <laughs> I'm such a genius. Alright, now for the explanation fee. It's 28G. 28G is a bargain con compared, uh, considering you were able to receive such a perfect explanation from the likes of me. So come on, drop the excuses. Be a man and pay up. Had 28G taken from you. Oh, no. Yes, thank you so much. No receipts given, though. No, not really. What? You won't hear what I have to say? Don't you want to know? The logical, comprehensible, and downright beautiful lecture given by me, the one and only great Luca, can only be do you good. Yes, it's Luca from Chrono Trigger. No matter how many times you listen to it. Oh, what a waste. Well, don't come crying to me when you run into trouble. Can you join my party? I mean, look. There are spare slots. You know you want to join. Another adventure. Although I haven't done your first adventure yet. I will eventually. Alright, enough of that building. Uh, what's next on the... Oh, I haven't talked to you. Yo, Faye! Alice has sure gotten pretty, huh? Come to think of it, Alice, Timothy, and you were always together. I bet you also had a crush on Alice, too, huh? Am I right? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Alright, that's the place that I came out of... Let's go talk to this person. This is a general store, although they don't have much of a selection. But then again, we're out in the country, so we can't complain too much. If you say so. Kitty! Just because Alice is getting married doesn't mean you have to be sad. Fay, when I get bigger, I'll be your bride. Will you wait for me? Sure, I'll wait. Will you mean it? And cross your heart. Hope to die, stick a needle in your- Oh god, no. Okay, that's it. Nope. It's all set then. Our winning love has been tied by unbreakable bonds. Oh, hi, Faye. Welcome. The big day's finally approaching, huh? Alice and Timothy's wedding is tomorrow. Hey, how about getting them a stamina drink of courage and love? What do you think? Come on, you've got to get, get them a present here. We're the only shop in town, you know? 
Now let's see what they have to sell. So, they've got uh, survival tents, which will uh, fully restore the, uh, um, you know, HP and EP, as it says. Uh, Omega Soul restores HP and EP to full. You know, 50G, that seems like a pretty good bargain, considering that uh, this one only restores by 10. So why is this so cheap? Because you can't use it in battle. Yep. Pretty good item, though. I mean, uh, 50 uh, to restore uh, HP and EP outside of combat for one character? Pretty good. I'm not sure if you can use the... if you have to use this in certain places or if you can use it anywhere. I can't remember. But, uh, what the heck. I'll buy one of these. I'm not gonna buy one of those. I got plenty of those. I'll buy two of those. Just to start with. Thanks again. Come by anytime. I do like that they have that item that, uh, Restores to full and it's pretty cheap. Lately, my legs have gotten weaker. It's causing me a great deal of trouble. I would like to go and have Dr. Izuki take a look at it, look and see if he can help me. But it's a tremendous task to go up that mountain path and visit the doctor. I must be getting old. Yeah, it sounds like it. That doctor's eccentric. Why else would anyone live up on a mountain peak like that? He should have moved closer to the village. Faye, you're good friends with the doctor. Ask him to move closer to our village for us. I suppose I could. The Laughing Fox and Piglet Tavern. Drunks, welcome! Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know why it does that odd skipping. Hey, it's Faye. How's it going? I ain't got any drinks for kids, you know. Come back when you're older, alright? How rude. Have you heard the latest rumors? It's said that in the southern desert of Ave, there, there's buried treasure all over the place. There's hundreds of people who are trying to strike it rich by digging everywhere. A single strike could make you totally rich! Sounds good. But then again, you never can tell how much is the truth. In life, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Ah! Hmm. Young one, beware, I can see it! There is a dark and icy wind that blows where you are going. Oh, I can't do that voice too much more. Hold on a second. Probably get some water before I continue on too much longer. A word that nurtures grief and resentment, inviting death from which there is no salvation. No one will be able to escape from it, but you and only you must eventually face up to that dark wind. Just kidding. I've always wanted to try saying that. Did I scare you? I'm really sorry. <laughs> no, you didn't. South of here is the Black Moon Forest. If you can make it through there, you'll come to Ave, the great land of fire. I shouldn't be wasting my time here in this little country village. Why, I ought to go to Ave and work there. Beautiful women and good liquor. If I work hard enough, I'll be rich in no time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Pay no attention to the fool. He's always saying all this carefree stuff. In reality, he's an incredible, ha incredibly hard task. Uh, it's an incredibly hard task to get through the Black Moon Forest. Lots of dangerous beasts and fearsome fire-eating lizards make their home there. What about R-O-U-S's? It'd be better for you to stay away from there. You got a problem with me <laughs> drinking at midday? How can I not be drinking, damn it? You got a problem, boy? Drinking won't help matters. Shut up, what would you know? You don't know how I feel. I wouldn't want you to know. Damn it. No, wait up, boy. I'll give you this. Take it. Huh? What is that? I have no use for it. Don't worry about it. Just take it. Nobody knows in the depths of the sea a teardrop shed by a mermaid. The sir received a mermaid tear. I must always miss that item, too. Why, that drunk had one... had the most beautiful stone. Hmm, I wonder what was it? Welcome, Faye. You want to have some fun? I give the best service in Lahan, you know? Hey, Ellen! Quit teasing the innocent kid! Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just a joke, you blockhead. Gee, he's got sharp hearing anyway. Maybe next time, okay, Faye? I'll be waiting. Oh.
I'm not making any comments. I wouldn't need anything else if I could only live together with my family, just the three of us. Why can't men understand something so simple? Okay, that's all she says. I want to go out the door. Hi there, Faye. Did you know that beyond the Black Forest lies the Great Kingdom of Ave? It's got a big capital city with lots of people living there. My father is working somewhere in Ave. Soon my father is going to come pick mother and me up and together we can... Pick mother and me up so that we can all live together in Ave. Oh, father, please come home soon. Whee! Oh, I love jumping off the buildings. Uh, let's see... Oh. Hey, kid. <laughs> How could Alice go and get married to that musclehead Timothy? I, I've loved her since I was a baby. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to live? Ah! <laughs> oh, that amuses me every time. Life can be so unfair. Oh yeah, there's a door back here. Let's go in here. Ark, Faye, that's the back door. Go around and come in through the front door. <laughs> ah, fun times. Alright, let's see. What's next? This building here. Why, hello, Faye. Are you here to see are you here to see Alice? Actually, it's customary that we don't let any men in to see the bride today. But you can be an exception. Wait, what are you saying? Hey! Hey, Faye, help me find another elephant sparrow's nest sometime, okay? Run away! Hey, Faye, next time teach me more of your kung fu stuff. I'm gonna get you! Alright, can, can you move so I can go in the door, please? There we go. Why, hello, Faye. Have you come to visit our Alice? She's upstairs right now. But doesn't time fly? It has already been ten years since her, since my brother and his wife passed away. We did our best to raise the two children in their place. But now, as far as Alice is concerned, I can finally say my job is done. I know Timothy will take good care of her from here on. Now all that's left is Dan. I'm going to have a hard time raising him to adulthood. Yep. I would say so. Hello, Alice. Is that your wedding dress? Oh, Faye, you startled me. Yes, it is. I just finished it. It took more work than I expected. Hmm, you did a great job there. It'll look wonderful on you, Alice. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, uh, Alice. Oh, um, Faye. What is it? Oh, nothing. I see. Um, oh yes, that's right. Faye, have you seen Dan? Knowing, hi knowing him, he's probably outside gas bagging right now. Gas bagging? Oh, that kid. I just told him that I had an errand for him to run. Oh yeah, what kind of an what kind of errand? It's for my wedding ceremony tomorrow. I was hoping he could go borrow a camera and some lights from Dr. Uzuki up on the mountain peak. If that's all it is, I'd be glad to do it for you. Could you? Oh, but I couldn't possibly. Don't worry, it's no problem. Anyway, it doesn't exactly make me feel comfortable having Dan handle such delicate instruments. Ha 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 ha. What's more, I might have a chance to eat some of Yui's cooking if I go to go to the dock's place. Hehe, <laughs> that's my fay. Well, I'll go up there now and get them for you. Oh, Faye, wait. Huh? Is there something else you want me to get from C10? No, it's not that. Huh? Faye, have you ever thought about things this way? I don't know what way. If, if 
you had only been born in this village, and if we had only known each other earlier on. Oh, it's nothing. I'm sorry. Well, I think I'd better get going now. Oh, okay. Be careful on that mountain path. And give my regards to Dr. Uziki. Is this fate? I feel so foolish. Who am I kidding? Aww. So sweet. Well... I think this is probably a good point to, uh, um... Actually, wait, no, there's one other thing that I want to do. Uh, where is it? Is it here? Yes, it is. <sighs> My husband's love for the rock, paper, scissors, or RPS game is ruining us. Just recently, he even said he had a dream of receiving the hero title from the RPS King. If only someone could utterly defeat him to make him see reality. But he's just so good. Okay, I, I don't want to hear it anymore. Stop, stop. Can I... There we go. Sometimes you can break, you can cancel the uh, um, speeches by like going downstairs, and sometimes you can't. Well, if it isn't Faye, isn't it exciting to know that Timothy's wedding is going to be tomorrow? I think it's time you found a wonderful girl like Alice yourself. <laughs> by the way, Faye, what do you think of Lahan? I like him. Lahan, I like it. The village leader, Chief Lee, has taken such good care of me. Everyone in the village has warmly accepted me. Regardless of where I may have been born and raised, Lahan is now my home. Ah yes, it makes me happy just to hear that. Here, take this as an allowance. Don't squander it all at once. Received 120 gold! Woohoo! Okay, now... This is the guy, um, th there's an item you can miss if you don't get this, uh, right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and, let's, uh, save state. Yo, wanna play rock, paper, scissors? It's 50G per challenge. Let's do it! Yeah, that's the way, Faye. If you manage to beat me five times in a row, I'll give you a special reward. I need some kind of risk to make things interesting against such an amateur. <laughs> here we go. One, two, uh, let's go with paper. Hey, you were late, you cheesy cheater. Only cowards do that. Penalty is 15G. Come on, cough up. Damn it. Okay, so yeah, you gotta be pretty quick about this. Paper! Oh. Oh my, you did paper too. Hmm, well, I see. Here we go again. Paper! Don't. Oh, paper. You did paper? Yes, I win, so pay up. Hallelujah, boy. That was too easy. Lost 50G. Yeah, so you gotta win five times in a row, which you can either uh, uh, save state if you're emulating, or you can go run to the memory cube and save it and reload it every time. So, of course, I am going to save state until I win. So, uh, I'm gonna end the video here and uh, pick it up in the next episode. Uh, um after I've won. So I'll see you then.